Hi and welcome back. In this part, we are going to create the feature section of our landing page. So let's go and activate our bootstrap grid and adjust our mobile head frame also for my desktop. All right. So let's start by creating the title section of our feature. Let's type in keep zoom in keep track of your note of your notes let's center the text and all right let's go to the text style and pick h2 or maybe h h3 okay let's keep it at h2 and then let's go to my assets and let's pick the card component and drag it to the mobile frame. And let's resize my frame to fit the four grid columns. Okay, and let's adjust my head and hit command C, command V, duplicate. And let's go here and change it to card two. Command C and Command V for the third card. And let's select card three. All right. So let's go and select all my layers. Hit Command G and select frame. And let's set its constraint to left and right. All right. Let's make the size fit and center everything inside and for the constraint it will be center for all my layers and maybe for my cards let's set it to left and right so if i resize as you can see my card will resize or will grow and get smaller if we resize our frame okay maybe let's add some padding to the top of my feature elements that's great now let's do the same for our desktop let's copy basic feature elements select desktop hit command v let's move our elements let's first start with our feature title right and and let's align my cards. Each one will fit four columns, right? And for the constraint, everything will be set to center. And let's go pick the frame tool and click and draw frame around the features elements. Let's go to layer and rename this frame to features and set it to left and right now let's remove our grid all right that looks great the size perfect again here let's zoom in all right now let's go and see how the cards components work in the prototype version let's go and hit this play button let's scroll down and here we have the hover our card works great let's go and select the desktop let's go back and select known as a prototype screen and scroll down and it works great all right that was everything for this part next we are going to create the content section. Thanks and I will see you in the next part.